Halt! Need to see Siana urgently. In the matter of? Need to interrogate her. New facts have come to light. Need them explained. Seeing she was planning your Duquesse's assassination. Ah, fine then. You're that witcher who solved the murders, no? Then you for my permission, but only for a few minutes. Promise to be brief. The Witcher will speak with the inmate. You can take a momentary break. As long as it's truly but a moment. Highly irregular, this. Have you come to see how I fare? I'm fine, thank you. Artorius's Ripon worked wonders. It's a shame they took it from I me. I know who the fifth victim was supposed to be. Goodness, you're simply a compulsive snoop. I'm in prison. Deadlaf is dead. Could you not just drop it? Sienna, stop pretending you couldn't care less. I know it's an act, and it's really starting to wear. Why do you want to kill her? For such an accomplished investigator to ask about the obvious? Come now, Geralt. Why do you think? Because she turned her back on you, then banished all memory of you. Bravo, Geralt. Yet another riddle solved, and your sick curiosity sated. Well, what now? Off to share your discovery with Anna Henrietta. Oh, she's no longer in danger, true. But she very well might add a little something to your reward. Definitely gonna tell her. Not necessarily for the coin, though. Then why do it at all? She ought to know. If only because you'll probably try to kill her again if she ever lets you out. I probably will. At least you're being honest, finally. Lying only ever makes sense when there's a chance someone will believe you. It's actually refreshing, in a way. To say what I truly think. So why don't I do it a bit more? I was only ever nice to you to get you to sleep with me. I thought you might come in handy one day. Your comrade Regis is using you, and Anna Henrietta perceives you solely as her unthinking, blunt instrument. She's right to, you know. I like this game. As long as we're being honest, here I go. You're a pathetic, self-centered snake. Should I go on? You'll rot in this tower. You'll die of old age, embittered, alone and forgotten. By everyone. Have a nice life, Siana. Manta de la Tour would like to see you. Shall we go at once? Let's go. Want to see him too. Damien. Geralt, it's about time. Ready for the ceremony? Your face doesn't look good. Though it looked even worse last I saw you. I apply a balm of Annika. Yeah, I hardly feel it anymore.
got some important information. Anna Henrietta was supposed to be Detloff and Siana's fifth victim. You are certain of this? Completely. Found proof. Inconceivable. How could she? The murders, the mayhem she brought down on the city, were they not enough? She sought to strike down her own sister, her liege, traitor. I must alert my men. Enlarge the Duchess's honor guard. Make certain Sylvia Anna is closely watched during the questioning. I'll see to it personally. I thank you, Witcher, for alerting me, and I appreciate your attentiveness. Let's begin the ceremony. Come with me. The Duchess awaits. In the guild's name, I beg your assistance, your enlightened highness. Without barrels, production will come to a stop, and it will be the end of us. You lost them all in the fire. These are horrible tidings. Oh, we are most dreadfully saddened. Yes, your enlightened highness all. Once the beasts had clawed their way into the warehouse, the whole place went up in flames. I shall dispatch a palace guardsman to examine the site of the blaze. If things are as you say, fitting compensation shall be paid from the Ducal Treasury. Thank you, your enlightened highness. Your Grace, Geralt of Rivia has arrived. My dear subjects, we come now to our next point of business. Of all the duties which fall upon my shoulders, as the ruler of this dominion, this duty is dearest to my heart. For now, we shall award the Order of Vitis Vinifera, Tucson's highest honor. Geralt of Rivia, slayer of the Beast of Beauclair, step forth. We bestow the distinction upon the Witcher, who saved Beauclair from the terrible beast. Such is our desire. May this symbol serve as a reminder to all that the Witcher shall forever remain a friend of Beauclair. In more familiar terms now, I thank you immensely, Geralt. Damien has your reward for you. After all, it was but a contract. Thank you. I have a small surprise for you, in addition. I give you more than a dozen barrels of Son Real, a wine normally reserved for the ducal table. The gustatory experience of a lifetime awaits. Are you content? Your grace. Sadly, I'm afraid I have to sour the mood. It's Siana. She plotted to have you killed, Duchess. Planned to use Dedloff. You were to be the beast's fifth victim. This cannot be true. You're mistaken. You must be. I have proof. I do not believe it. In a moment I shall speak to Siana. Will you assist me? You returned my sister to me, 
Yet what you tell me now, I find devastating. I've come to doubt that I can judge her fairly. I'd far prefer to learn you're mistaken, Geralt. I'm not. In fact, I'd recommend you be particularly careful around her. You exaggerate, Witcher. She is my sister. I know well how to speak to her. If my presence will help in any manner, of course I'll stay. We shall now question a person implicated in the murders which recently ravaged our fair city of Beauclair. Captain de la Tour, show Sylvia Anna in. The Witcher will take part in our talk. The Duchess requested I be present. You have committed crimes. Grave crimes. Yet you are my sister. And my heart does not allow me to treat you as a common criminal. Nor does it let me believe you sought my demise. My heart yearns to know you were swayed by the monster Detlav. You yourself would never stoop so low. Thus I have asked Geralt to advise me, as one impartial. I shall now hear what he has to say. No matter the mitigating circumstances, whatever they may be, Siana is a criminal and should be tried as such. And punished as such. Her guilt is clear. Your words sadden me greatly, Witcher. But I cannot deny their logic. Siana, you shall be tried and given a fitting punishment. Yet we shall never cease to be family. As Duchess, I shall have to judge you, but as your sister, I shall never stop loving you. Will you forgive me? I shall never forgive you.
some flowers, a wreath, or... I've none. Sold everything. I was just on my way out. No sense hanging about with nothing to do. Should come as no shock, sir. Had the funeral, folk took it all. Men, women, children, all wished to lay a bouquet on the Duchess's grave. Wind flowers, peonies, gladioli. But she liked common roses best. I know, her ladies in waiting would come here at times. I'd choose the loveliest blooms for her. Fragrant, big petals, the kind that last a long time. Ah, I've still not come to terms with it. To be killed by her own sister. How could it happen? Anna Henrietta wanted to believe there was still hope for Sianna, that she'd show remorse. She reached a hand out to her. Too soon. Too trusting. Oh, I know you. You're that witcher from the north. The one that saved us from the beast. Mm-hmm. Could say that. Wait here. Take these. Thought you were out of flowers. I put a bouquet aside. I was to take it to her myself. But you have it. I know you held the Duchess dear. How much do I owe you? Not a copper. Keep your coin and raise a toast in her memory tonight. Do just that. Farewell. Ooh. What the fuck? <laughs> the best armor around. That is what I forge. Ah, so sorry. Got there.
So long. Yes, yes, like you drunk in the gutter again. To bury the murderous Lars in one crypt with the Duchess. It's Death not decent. My keeps her her no. somewhere she... she was the Duchess's sister. Shared her blood. She should lie with her kin. <gasps> that witcher's rather handsome. He's no kin. Hey there! That's the butcher of Blaviken. Good day. Arr! Witcher, I was certain you'd departed. Couldn't. Anna Henrietta was... Wondrous. Beautiful. Good. The best ruler one could hope to have. Yet I let her down. Don't be so hard on yourself. No one expected Siana to do that, persist to the end. And none of us did anything to stop her. Because there was nothing we could do. Uh, I suppose you are right. But when someone so beloved dies, one cannot help but search one's soul for blame. And even the hardiest knights grow faint-hearted then. Come to pay my respects. Bid the Duchess farewell. White roses. They were her favorite. Go inside, then. She lies in the ducal crypt. In one room with her murderer. Despite my protests. What? Who decided that? The Regent's Council. A pack of old men who've statutes and codices for hearts. Ducal blood flowed in Siana's veins, and she was never legally disinherited. So they ruled she should lie alongside Anarieta. Stylish crypt, quite subdued. Yes, this is the kind of eternal resting place I dream of. Moments like this, I never know if you're joking or serious. Serious, Geralt, serious. It's remarkably peaceful, subtly charming to the hilt. A perfect match for the Duchess's dignity. Ah, oh, you humans, you'll never cease to amaze me. To feel despair in the face of natural processes to which you are predestined. I've come to take you from this place, my friend. Dare say you deserve a speck of respite after the mad whirl of the last few days.
those deaths I failed to prevent. I feel pretty awful right about now. Can't help thinking I could have done more. Now Toussaint is left without a ruler, or more accurately, chaos rules here. Hand in hand with despair. Duchess won over people's hearts. All Beauclair now weeps for her. A mass outburst of emotion. Well, it seems her subjects have adopted some of their recent ruler's traits. Why the sarcasm? Thought you liked Donna Henrietta. I did. And I do truly rue her passing. Me too. Then let us drink. Always seemed to me you were a very complicated creature by nature. Not one to resort to such simple methods like drinking your worries away. There exist worries for which they're quite simply. It's no other medicine. Whatever you say about Siona, you gotta admit, she was unbending. That she was. I do admit it. Though, in her case, it would have been better if she had been a tad more... Mm, philosophical. Pausing from time to time to reflect on the propriety of her actions. True. How do you find my personal brew? Not too strong. Just right. Credit the local mandrake of the Alrauna Diabolus variety for that. The tubers which grow in this area's volcanic soil have an altogether unique flavor profile and display a remarkably uncommon dark brown tint. Fascinating. All I can say is this batch turned out excellent. Indeed. It might be wise to stockpile some roots for the future. Would you care to accompany me? You decide to go root picking now? It's dark out. Ah, oh, Geralt. Even were I generously to assume it had simply slipped your mind that I am a vampire and thus need no light to see, I'd never believe you had also forgotten that you likewise have absolutely no trouble seeing in the dark. So, shall we? If you think it's a good idea, let's go. But I think you might be forgetting one thing. Fresh mandrake root of this variety is highly toxic, even to a witcher. Ah, not a problem. I never forget matters of safety and hygiene in alchemy. Here, gloves and a mask. Don them, and you shall be in no danger. Thanks. Right then, let's go. This moonlight makes me oh so dreamy. Penny for your thoughts. Let me guess. Succubus twins? No, I was thinking about... Oh, how anything can look interesting when properly lit. Even an old necrophage corpse? You've not an ounce of refinement in you, have you? that bloodsucker go? Won't be easy to track down. He's a vampire after all. Regis!
Damn it, where'd you go? Say, they called you a traitor. Alas, we have a very simple code of honor, we vampires. So simple you might call it trivial. Either one is with us, unconditionally, regardless of the circumstances, or... Won't let it go, will they? They will not. Fortunately, we have another rule. An unwritten one, and just as trivial as the first. It is neatly summarized in the saying, out of sight, out of mind. That is why I must leave Toussaint. For a vastly long time, most like. Yeah, I get it. Ugh. Let us make for my camp. I have an overwhelming desire to have another drink. Mmm. Supreme bouquet. Firm, defined beginning. Then develops gently, rising to a, a startling finish. Don't you think? Not much of a connoisseur. Then it is high time you started your education. After all, the Corvo Bianco vineyard is now yours. By the way, I left a gift for you in your new home. On the nightstand. <laughs> Thanks. Mind telling me what it is? Ugh, a trifle. That will nonetheless be useful should you need mutagens. Incidentally, have you thought about what you'll do with your prize? Shall you hang your swords over the mantle and take to pruning vines? No, just not the life for me. Sure, might stop by there occasionally, stay the winter, fill up on wine. But I'd rather keep moving. It's not a choice being a witcher. And once you are one, you're one for life. You can't just step off the path. Besides, plenty of work left for me in the world. Ghouls aren't gonna kill themselves. Rather droll, isn't it, that each time we meet, something harrowing must happen? I can remember a night, not too far from here if I'm not mistaken. We hid in a cave while a blizzard raged all about. Does that sound at all familiar? How could it not? we just set off to rescue Ciri from Vilgefortz. Oh, our encounter with Vilgefortz. That is something I do not remember so fondly. But that first stay in Beauclair, far calmer than this one. Seemed like a land straight out of a fairy tale back then. Its sole problem, cellars too small to accommodate all that wine. Appearances, Geralt. Appearances, like Mamoons and Dopplers, deceive. So what did become of Vilgefortz? Killed him. Sure wasn't easy, though. What about you? Any idea where you'll go? Distance is of the essence. I thought I might let you sell. Nilfgaard? Why ever not? The Nilfgaardians are a modern society. None there believe in vampires anymore. This fact alone could be very useful to one wishing to remain incognito. Hmm. Interesting point of view. I so don't feel like going anywhere. Sit here a while longer? So we shall, my friend. We have witnessed, and in fact on several occasions incited, 
Many great and weighty events. After all that toil, I believe we deserve a bit of a rest. That we do. to go home. Do you think that you guess as death will change anything? Master Witcher, some unknown individual barged into the residence. I resisted as best I could, but to no avail. Who is it? Alas, they did not do me the basic courtesy of introducing themselves. In the flesh.
thought you were in Kavir. I got tired of waiting for you, so I decided to head to Tucson. Catch some sun, see how things are going. You said it would only take a moment. Things are pretty much wrapped up, luckily. We'll be able to head north soon. I hope you're not upset I came like this, without warning. True, I haven't always been fond of surprises. They remind me of work, the law of surprise, surprise child. But I think I've changed my mind. Seems surprises can actually be pleasant. Very pleasant. Let's go outside. There's this one cozy spot you're gonna love. This is your first time in Tucson, right? Want me to show you around a bit? Sorry, but I've already made plans. Oh? What are you going to do? Lie down in the sun, and not move an inch. Ah, oh, right. A packed schedule. Not overdoing it a tad. Oh, gotta get the most of this weather before I return north. Know that joke about how to tell when summer has come to Kavir? The rain isn't quite so cold. <laughs> and sadly, that's not far from the truth. Oh, I shouldn't have told you that. Now you'll change your mind and not come join me. I wouldn't worry about that. How'd you find me? Kavir's a long way off. I have my ways, Geralt. A hydromancy, for example. Oh yeah, that's right. So, what becomes of us? See anything else in the reflection? Mm-hmm. Zoltan moves in. Please tell me you're joking. <laughs> you can breathe easy. Far as I know, he settled down in Novigrad and has no intention of budging. In all seriousness, though, I did see a few scraps of our future, but... I'd rather not tell you exactly what. Why not? Because you said you've grown to like pleasant surprises. So, how do you like my vineyard? I think you know the answer to that. I like it a lot. House is big, but not showy. Lovely location. Perfect for romantic getaways. Just finished some remodeling. Paid through the nose for it, but I think it was worth it. There are already some new saplings and flowers around the grounds, but I think it's still missing something. Hmm. Maybe a hedge maze? With a statue in the center? One that's stately and nude. Ugh, Geralt. Don't bring up that ball. The wine got to my head and I... Not bringing it up to tease, but to reminisce. That evening, it was magic. And your dress. You looked lovely in it. I've got it with me. I could put it on one evening. We'll dine outside by candlelight. Listen to the music of the cicadas. Hmm? Can't wait. How are things in Kovir? Amazingly boring and predictable. Council meetings mainly concern trade matters. Tariffs. Storage regulations, that sort of thing. Missing the excitement? You know the Atheri saying, may you live in interesting times? Well, I've already done that, and now I'm looking for a bit of quiet. The other mages I brought with me from Novigrad, or who made it north on their own, feel the same. You wouldn't recognize them. No conspiracies, cabals, plotting. They just sit there and work, for the good of the kingdom. Sometimes I think it's all too lovely to be true. That something's bound to happen. Another war, or some other horror. <sighs> but for now, it's nice. And once you finish your business here and come join me, it'll be even better. Mind if I leave you here alone for a moment? Just a moment.
Yes, Geralt? This is your first time in Tucson, right? Sorry, but... Oh? Light up. Uh, oh. The rain. Hmm. <laughs> oh. What? Just a... Master Liam and Maid Matilda. Why, they'll have a tail to hold their kitty. Sister, my fingers need to show. Sir, we received a shipment of wine from the Belgard vineyard, I believe, with kind regards from Madame Matilda and Monsieur Liam. I had the barrels unloaded and stored in the cellar to the right of the entrance. Thanks. Take a look when I have a moment. Splendid. I was told to expect a subsequent delivery five days hence. Thanks. Gotta get back to my business now. See you soon. And Matilda running the vineyard. <laughs> what have we here? The tourney's champion. Uh, and what do you get for all that work? Master the crook in your back. Made what is your own? Hey, yeah. Let's go!
Could I ever use a nap? You are the famed Geralt of Rivia, are you not? <laughs> 